what does God's word say? I love John 8, 32, and it says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So I'm Joyce, the practical Christian woman, author, speaker, and life and marriage coach, helping you love your life and your marriage. And if we want to make those things work, we want our lives and our marriages to work, and we want to, as Christian women, make them work according to God's plan, first off, we have to start accepting the truth. God wants to speak truth to us, but we also have to speak truth to ourselves. This is like cleansing your mind, washing your mind with the truth. And one of those truths, if you're talking to yourself about, about you don't like the way you look. Well, I know I'm getting older. don't always like sometimes the wrinkles that are coming across my face, but that's what's happening. And if we want to accept that truth, I have to go back to Psalm 139, where God says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God says that he loves us with an everlasting love. He says that he places his desires in our hearts so that we can do them. He says that when we come to him, he'll help us do them or he'll help us overcome the challenges. That he won't give us a challenge or a trial that's greater than he'll give us a way out. You know, I don't really know what you're saying you can't about or you're not good enough about. But I know what things I've said him about. 